Hey guys, JT here and geez, what a week. What a week in terms of amazing news, right? I mean, about time, right? I've been telling you this, right? The future looks bright and hey, last week was a testament to that. As you may have already seen all the videos that came up that I personally did on what it actually meant to you as a buyer. And by the way, you know, you saw it on TikTok, you saw it on Instagram, breaking news, FHA announces reduction in MIP. Great. However, what does that mean to you? And I think that based on the feedback that you all gave me, it looks like we did a very good job. So thank you for that. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. And if you find it a value, please send this channel over to your friends and have them do the same thing. But let's talk a little bit more about what that FHA reduction means to you. Now, if you were buying a home in the $550,000 purchase range and after the new PMI reduction takes into effect, that means that you would essentially be your purchase power would increase by roughly $20,000. That's how big this thing is. Now, if your loan amount was greater than $726,000, that also applies to you. Your purchasing power would roughly increase by $20,000. Now, let's just say that you don't want to increase your purchase. Let's just say you want to take those savings. Great, let's do that. Now, let's identify what your can ultimately do with those savings. Let's break that down. You can open up a CD. You can open up a money market account. You can buy yourself an insurance. Buy yourself a brand new car. There is a lot of things you can do when you have options. There's a lot of things you can do when you've got money. There is a lot of things you can do when there is money left over at the end of the month, as opposed to on the contrary, right? When there's not a whole lot of money left at the end of the month, there ain't a whole lot of options. So guys, that huge announcement that was made last week, I hope that you guys found it a value and I hope that you understand what it ultimately means to you as a consumer. Now, if you've been in the market to purchase, but you haven't yet been pre-approved, I suggest that if it's in your vision, you come meet with one of our loan officers here or myself at Go-To Mortgage Solutions and you just come and sit with one of us so that we can present to you what it is that this process of buying a home looks like. So guys, I hope you found this a value. And again, I truly believe that the future looks bright. There ain't a whole lot of people in the mortgage space saying that, but hey, everybody here at Go-To Mortgage Solutions is saying that the future looks bright. So guys, I hope you found this a value. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up.